Hello. Hi. Who else do we have here? Any filmmakers here? Uh, I know there's a lot. Yeah. Malik and Nathan. Celeste and KB. Caitlin and Andre here? Yeah, they could all in back. Damien. over to Jacqueline and she's gonna introduce, you're gonna start by saying what movie you did and then pass it to Okay. Hi, I'm, whoa. Hey. <laughs> oh, I'm Jacqueline Mary. Um, I made Girl with the Most Cake with my co-producer Violet Dentata who cannot be here today. And that is what I did. Uh, my name is Demian and I did Indigenous Love. Right. Uh, I'm Lauren Murphy, and I did Grey is for Bondage. I'm Jen Shree McShane, and I did uh, Magenta. Um, KB, and we are... We're Moon Ray Ma, and we did Flattening for Fashion, Silver Sequence. Yeah. And that's us. Hi, I'm Malik. I'm Nathan. And we did Spit, Hell Yeah. yeah. Hi, I'm Andre. I'm Caitlin Rose. We did Red. Ow! Yeah. I'm Mika, and I did Spit. Yeah. So, any questions? <laughs> <laughs> Um, there was, when I first put out the, uh, the call for submissions, I got like 40 submissions and I didn't tell anybody no, because I know how things go over the course of a year and um, people have other things come up and it's not always a good time to make films, so um, some people dropped out and uh, there were definitely some people who had chosen colors that I was like really looking forward to seeing and then there were other people who had chosen colors that um, someone else had chosen. Um, so yeah, at that point, I would tell them, you know, that they was, that they should choose something else. So some of the films that you saw were like second choices, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have a question. Uh, we live today in the gay marriage world where everyone is monogamous. Everyone is married, everyone has a corporate job, and everyone is living behind a white picket fence in the suburbs. And it seems to me that each one of you have created a film that just would not pass muster with GLAD or some of the establishment groups. And so, and so my question is, is how do we, how do we stop the, I don't, really, I don't want to use terms like corporatism, but I, how do we stop the, the, the force that's making so many LGBTQ, XYZ, W people conform and fit into some narrow, what's supposed to be stereotype. How do we keep the freedom that you express in your films alive and viable options for generations that are now coming up, coming of age? <laughs> By giving them access to this art, to this new art that we're creating, you know? and having a platform like Mix uh, to do that, you know, and, and trying to get the word out, I guess. I mean, yeah. Just Can this be gotten on DVD or anything? 
<laughs> just, just keep being a freak and do lots of weird shit and make lots of weird art. And just keep living the life and don't, don't do the picket fence or corporate thing and get married and divorced. You know, do all the things. So just keep living our lives the way that we do. I don't know if anyone here has that life, but. I say stay in pervert and do it with as many people as possible. Yes. Like tonight. Yeah, especially. Well. That, I don't think that's going to be so wherever you want to Okay. First of all, I love you in that film. I love you. Um, <laughs> second of all, um, I'm 100% Native American. And were you the filmmaker? Yes. Yes. I, I pretty recognize our home. Um, did you get any backlash from the Native community when you made that film? Uh, no. I mean, I haven't shown it in a lot of like Native communities. Well, yeah. So... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Did no, you get I pressure haven't. though to like show it and actually kind of show what you're showing other people that aren't even informed about our struggle. Um, I well, I, I do want to like submit it to like the Cherokee, like there's a Cherokee film festival coming up. Yeah. Um, I think in terms of like my immediate community, like I've had a lot of support in terms of like speaking about like this idea of like decolonizing sex and sort of going back to like this idea of like reminding people that indigenous people. Um, still exist in this land and we're always on indigenous land. Sure. So with that, it's also keeping in mind that there's various types of like genders and sexualities that like don't really get discussed or talked about. Totally. Like when you tell people you're Native American, they look at you like you're a unicorn? Yeah. I mean, no, not really. I mean, no, no. I um, get that a lot. They're like, wait a minute. I read about you. You don't <laughs> exist anymore. They just come in Indian in a cupboard and then it's all good. You're okay with that? No, I'm joking. I'm totally <laughs> joking. No, but um, yeah, I mean, I, I think moving forward, it would be just to like have that discussion more in like this indigenous right. community. I think and we I represent in... more more being in New York rather than being on a reservation, though. Don't oh, you? I do myself. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, that that would just be called like an urban native or an urban right. Indian. But you know, you and I both know that we're both criticized for being here. Right. We're assimilating, but in, yeah. in actuality informing people about our struggle. Right. Okay. Anyway, thank you. I love you. <laughs> um, I wanted to touch on something somebody said um, earlier, and it was just like um, what about the gay marriage thing, and uh, this film actually premiered um, the night before Frameline and Frameline is like the big gay and lesbian film festival in San Francisco. They accept the Israeli consulate money. Um, I actively boycotted them this year because of that. And um, and like I just think it's really important to kind of have more inclusive programs like this um, that go across the spectrum. Um, touching on like what Sloan said when you made that joke about um, festivals having like a fun and boy shorts. And, uh, you know, I mean, it, it's it's important to kind of bring it all together and um, that's what it, really what I wanted to do and I think that it shows in the film, so yeah, thank you. Anybody else, have a, anybody else want to take the mic or? More questions? There's a hand. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you all. You're all wonderful. Thank you for sharing your with us. Um, how literal do you want to get? <laughs> I mean, who has, who, has to, who has the finances to make a sequel to Broad? I mean, I think someone needs to do that. And I, I would really love to see someone do a sequel to Born in Flames. Um, and I hope they do it well. That's all I have to say. <laughs> to see like a gender freaky sequel to Born in Flames. Yeah. 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 Champagne bikini. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Is there a way that what we saw tonight could be put on a commercial DVD and somehow distributed in a way to raise funds and finance projects that you all are doing? 
That's a good question. Um, so, so far we have not um, done anything but screened the film. So the film is shown in San Francisco and Oakland, LA, Portland, Minneapolis, Berlin, and now here. And um, my original intent and the consent that I got from all the filmmakers was that we would just have it available in screening format. Um, but that's definitely a possibility, and we're talking about trying to get it out there and talking to universities and LGBT studies programs and seeing if we can um, get it into some classes and stuff. So, yeah.